Uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted has been... It's been fun. It's been fun playing Need for Speed Most Wanted. Uh, it's... You know, it doesn't take up a lot of your time. It doesn't, you know, try to be... Oh, you know what? You gotta do this. Uh, it's not something like uh, Gran Turismo or something like that where you need to go through all these events, all these uh, license tests and all that just before you can get the super high powered cars you know you don't have to you don't even have to earn a single uh, cent before you can use the best car in the game and and I think that's something good about this game which is that you know what if you can find the car you can immediately use it you know you don't have to oh go through uh, the slower cars the the lower end cars go through the middle and then high powered cars you know like level one level two level three level four like level one is the uh, I, I wouldn't say cheap but uh, the lower class cars the slower cars then slowly make it up to mid-range cars and then finally you end up with the supercars you don't have to do that in Need for Speed Most Wanted which is something that is both uh, good and bad to me good in the sense that because the whole much I, I didn't have time at all I had exams I had assignments the things to do and it was good because I could just pick any car that I wanted of course because I wanted to complete everything I just went alphabetical order by the, the, the manufacturer but if you had if you want me you, you could pick any car you wanted and then just say you know what I want to drive a Lamborghini today I want to drive a Porsche today I want to drive a what are cars? Mitsubishi, uh, Nissan, and any car that you wanted, you could just immediately jump into the car. As long as you weren't uh, being chased by cops, but you could jump into any car that you wanted right away, and you could just use it. Uh, it it doesn't it the good that's the good thing. The bad thing is that maybe I miss that sort of progression. That you know, oh, okay. I'm I'm going from slow cars. You know, I'm driving around this track, and I'm getting used to it. Driving a slow car, you know, trying trying to beat it. But then it's like, oh, okay. Now I I've unlocked a better car, and I can see the comparison. You know what? I'm going from this time uh, beating this time. Like let's say a track took me two minutes to to finish, but now. Because I got a better car, it, it takes me 1 minute and 30 seconds. And then when I got a supercar, it's it gonna take me like 1 minute and 10 seconds, you know. There, there is that sense of achievement when you get when you slowly progress one by one through tiers of cars. Which, not to say that it lost in this game, but it, it's something that you miss. You know, when, when you're so used to, to that progression, it's like, oh, okay, I'm gonna drive a slow car for now. I'm gonna beat these guys with slower cars then I'm gonna get a faster car then I'm gonna feel that it's faster because you know I'm going through the same track but faster this you more or less go through the same tracks well that I think that's a bit unfair to say that they are the same track because how the world is presented to you it's not like oh okay you you jump from this track to another track around the world how the game presents the world to you is that oh you are in Fairhaven which is the city that most want to takes place then you have events scattered around the whole city and then you just either jump to these events by using the car going through the menu and choosing you know I want to take this event now and then you jump to it or if it is the first time that you are used that you are doing the, the event or if it is or if you just wanted to, to see the scenery you know take the long route you could just set a destination and then you drive to that event and then you start the event from there so talking about these events you know it's well, the problem that I have is that there weren't many events. There is 61 unique events. I know that number off the top of my head because 
it's you know it's an achievement that okay you you finish off you play through all the events you get a trophy for it so there's only 61 events and looking at n61 events and they are spread along you know um different groups so if you were driving a slower car let's say you you cho chose a slower car to drive you'll be driving a certain number of events so like there may be six or seven events uh set aside for the slower cars uh to be fair i think in this game they they, they you know grouped it into everyday cars supercars uh, suvs and things like that these are just examples of, of some of them and grouping into these groups you have like maybe 10 or so events that you can take using within each group and each car within a group would have its set you know taking from this group of events and using them i probably could explain that better but what it means finally is that there is less events well it's not that it's less it's 61 events but it, what it means is that you'll be seeing the same events over and over again if you are in the same car group so if i drove an everyday car and then i switched to another everyday car i am more likely to see the same event again so if i were to drive a supercar and then i drove another supercar i will most likely see the same events again so it kind of gets a bit boring not boring repetitive is the right word uh, because you keep seeing the same events over and over again so if if, if you were like me you you had four porsche lined up together and if they were all uh if they were all uh, fit fitted grouped into supercars you will have you will see the same missions same events over and over again and uh you know that that's the problem with this uh setting which if you had time to play this game meaning that you had time to go through uh from you know you you were powering through it you were marathoning through the game like oh, i want to finish this game today you'll be playing through the same events over and over again you know very often but what i did was because i had no time well i had little time not to say i had no time i had little time so i played a car a day or maybe two cars a day and which was a good way to play the game because you did not have to see the same events over and over again you could just say oh okay i played two cars today and i may or may not see the same events but the next day i play another group of cars and i see and maybe i've forgotten about the events the day before so it's like oh okay or maybe i play it two or three days later on and it's like oh, okay yeah you know i'm not seeing the same thing over and over again and it's it lessens the impact of how repetitive it is if you don't go through you know marathon through the game which is what some people do and which is why it took me a whole month to finish this game because i i, I knew that this was happening and i did not want to be overwhelmed by or oh, the feeling that oh you know what i'm playing the same thing over and over and over again and yeah so that's one thing yeah, that is the thing uh so those are my two main thoughts about the game uh if okay this is the point where if you played games for a while you know that these guys criterion games they did one need for speed game before which is hot pursuit and was in charge of the burnout franchise and right now what i would like to do is to compare it with burnout paradise because it's something that i played a lot of in fact it was the first game that i bought when i got my ps3 and because it was the first game that i bought it was the only game that I had at the time so I would have played the game quite a lot until I had enough money to get another game so the memory is a bit fuzzy right now but you know comparing the two games Burnout Paradise and Need for Speed Most Wanted 
you you see the parallels. You see the you know things that try they they, they try to do similar, which is things like oh uh, security gates and uh, billboards and things like this and 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 uh, is asynchronized offline play, which is basically you know you you you're challenging your friends, but you're not playing against them, but you are going against things like their their time and uh, their distance traveled and things like that and which is fine it, it's nothing great it, it's not you know it's not like oh okay wow but it, it's something that I would have to bring up because liking Burnout Paradise a lot I found it quite weird that the same things made me a bit annoyed in Hop, uh, in Most Wanted, which is because I think the addition of police kind of made me not want to explore a lot. I just well, two things I guess uh, the easy the easy drive system, which is the menu on the top left, which allows you to pick things and police it, it kind of made you not want to explore the game explore the map because if you drove too fast and you see police you know what the police is going to chase you it's going to waste your time two three minutes you're going to hide hopefully or you or if you get busted what what happens is that you'll be brought to one of jack spots jack spots being places where your car where you first found a car that you're driving currently so let's say I had a Aston Martin and I found this car at a certain jackpot when I get busted by the police I would be transported to this one to the jackpot that I chose to use the car it's uh, you it's hard to explain by words but yeah I, if I just move on it, it kind of takes it makes it risky to drive around quickly and you know wanting to explore because if the cops see you if the police see you then they chase you and it, it kind of takes the fun out of you know driving around because you you take you take a lot of time to well not a lot of time but it it, it kind of creates this 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 uh like artificial event not not event but it, it feels kind of like oh I don't want to do this it's like trouble it's like, I don't want to do this right now I just want to look for these billboards that look for these security gates but you know what this cop is around oh, okay so there aren't that many police driving around at, at all times but because you felt this way you rely more for me anyways because I felt this way I relied more on the easy drive to teleport me to the next event rather than driving around on my own because oh, okay if I drive too, if I drive too fast I will meet the police and this is gonna be what happens which is not fun and I think I think that's the biggest change with Burnout Paradise which is like oh you know what there is no police around I can drive as fast as I wanted and and you know what I just had fun doing it and maybe it was because uh, I, well maybe because you didn't have to drive realistic cars well not really yeah I think the police and the easy drive menus are the, are the two things that, that really make the biggest change from it from Burnout Paradise because you, you, you did not want to do a lot of things you just wanted to skip here and there and you just you know, skipped <laughs> well is there anything else that I want to say about most wanted before we go um, multiplayer is fine it's not as fun as Burnout Paradise because again comparison to Burnout Paradise because the events were not as unique or fun to do and 
they also came with a problem that whichever car you chose you had to upgrade it before it was kind of fun to drive not to say that it wasn't fun initially but of course it gets better with like for example nitrous is not uh, something that comes with all the cars initially you have to unlock them and same goes in the multiplayer that you don't have well I could be wrong nitrous could be something that you unlock immediately in multiplayer but in single player it was not something that it came that every car came equipped with so it wasn't that it was kind of it put you off I guess knowing that your car was not as good as it could be and it took a long time before you could unlock anything to use in the cars so that was kind of a downer where when you go in and it's like uh, okay I'm gonna use my favorite car but because I had to unlock the car unlock the parts and it took so long to unlock the pro mods that it just wasn't fun anymore I guess because it took so, so long for example let, let me give me let me give you an example I think it was aero body or something like that uh, it required you to or was it a lightweight chassis either one it required you to jump 10,000 kilometers or was it 16,000 kilometers? It was something huge just to unlock the pro, pro mod. Of course, the idea would be that you'd be playing the multiplayer for a very long time. And I was trying to hurry up because I wanted to just get a trophy and be done with it. But it, it, kind, of, it kind of felt that the design was made towards being forcing you to play it, it, it was the uh, well, how would you say it it's like it's a difference between the single player and the multiplayer where single player gave you all the tools immediately as quickly as possible but then when you jump into multiplayer it's like oh no I'm sorry you know what we're gonna make you stay here as long as possible so it kind of felt a bit off because you wanted multiplayer to be pick up as up and play like a single player but it wasn't it was more like oh you know what we're gonna make you stay here for a very long time and we're hoping that you're gonna play for a very long time because you know what it's the multiplayer and it's like man it it was like two different entities I guess you had a single player which was like oh you know what do whatever you want as quickly as you want and then just go multiplayer was like oh no you know what you wait Two minutes for everyone to get together wait another 30 seconds for people to to, to arrive uh, play this match for five minutes you know whether or not you win or lose you know you stay here for five minutes move to another place wait another 30 seconds and it's like it, it, it and it forced you to choose different cars as well so it's like this event might you only could use SUVs or this event you're going to use everyday cars so it restricted you a lot compared to the single player which was was, which was like why you know you had such a great thing going in single player where you you could do anything you want at any time jump jump around and do whatever you want but when you went into multiplayer it's like somebody telling you giving you a really heavy ball and just saying you know what slow down a little you know your single player is going on too fast multiplayer let's slow down let's enjoy the scenery a little bit and it's like no you you forced me to play 20 30 hours of this game well not forced nobody forced me to but I mean in the single player it was it, it, it felt that way it was like you know what I'm gonna spend 20 30 hours playing this game and I could do anything I wanted but when I jump into multiplayer something which if it was fun I would have stayed for longer but because of these restrictions it's like no you know what I'm not gonna do this I'm not gonna you know spend time playing with other people who are just you know not doing what they're supposed to do or things like that just to unlock a mod so that I can drive slightly faster jump slightly higher things like that so yeah multiplayer was disappointing 
it wasn't like burnout paradise where it's like oh everyone come together and it's like oh let's just do this let's have fun this was like okay you know what we we have this set of things like that and let's just do it together it's like oh, okay fine let's do this you were you were begrudging you were you were reluctant to play multiplayer in fact in this game which is disappointing well, I guess that's about it. That's about my thoughts on uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted. I don't think that I have anything else to say. Mm, besides, I think it was great that the Vita version was was uh, almost 100% faithful to the consoles. It, of course, um, it wasn't as pretty. It wasn't as the frame rate wasn't as smooth so you felt it being a bit slow but otherwise i think the vita version was quite fun because like i said it, it was pick up and play it's like whatever i wanted to do at that time i just loaded up the game and just played whatever i wanted which was great uh, console maybe i felt uh the ps3 console or maybe i felt it's like okay uh, i i wanted to, to have some progression in this game rather than just sitting down and doing all these kind of things and so it's like two different mindsets I guess yeah, that, I, that I had playing both of them other than that mm, speed points I think that would be the last thing that I'll talk about speed points which mm, speed points were interesting interesting way of keeping things locked until you needed them but ultimately I think didn't matter at all for example, it was like because I was playing on two 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 versions. If you, if I had it on the an Android or something like that, I could have even more speed points. But I I, I didn't want to do that. So it's like I played it on the Vita first, so I had almost unlocked everything. Okay, it, here's here's how the story was not important in this game. Basically, you needed speed points so that you could. Uh, challenge people on the most wanted list when I played the game I was almost at the top already because I was playing it on two consoles so so the speed points which, which was great that, that they accumulated where which they were combined you know on the PS3 and uh, PS Vita and I think if I played it on a PC uh, Xbox 360 everything it would be combined but the fact that they combined but did not my progress was not shared amongst the versions it was like by the time i moved back towards the playstation 3 version i was already at the first the the most number one on the most wanted list so it's like i did not feel the sense of progress maybe that was why that i did not feel the sense of progress at all because i was already as such i had already such a high amount of speed points that it no longer felt like i was doing anything anymore i was not unlocking anything i probably was unlocking something in multiplayer but i did not again i was at such a high number that i did not notice which is a shame and the other thing to go with that is that because you just it was nice that speed points were shared amongst the different versions but why couldn't the playstation 3 version and the vita version have cross play or cross save sorry cross save meaning that playing it on one console would transfer the progress to the another it it made the game longer sure you know sometimes you complain that games are not as long but seeing as how things were the same on both sides it was a shame that i couldn't you know i couldn't be i couldn't you know uh, have my progress be saved on be the same and i think uh that's about it um but otherwise it's a it's a great game you know i wouldn't have well great is like with some with quote it with a asterisk it's like it's a great game with asterisk meaning that well, if you like if you like this kind of game if you don't mind that you can do whatever you want without you know certain things like there's no progress there's no things like Okay, fine. There is some progress, but I mean, like, 
compared to other games, compared to other racing games. Uh, I would say, yeah, get it, play it, you know, have fun. I, I got it for f uh, both versions for uh, a total of $10, so I felt it was $10 well spent. I, I, you know, I played it for the whole month, I played it on my Vita. I, every time when I went out on the bus or on the train, and, you know, I'll be playing on you know, the Vita, so it was like, yeah, I, I had a lot of fun with the game. Shame with a certain. Well, I wouldn't say that it's a shame that they they they, they had to do a certain few, few things, but they did not. the The racing and the map itself, everything was fine. It was not as cool or, or as nice as Burnout Paradise. Uh, cars. All these things, you know, is by preference, by choice, so I, I can't say anything about them, but it's like, yeah, I'm not saying it's a bad game, if you can afford it, if you can get it, you know, play it. I just have to warn, you know, people, if you're like me, who like Burn Up Paradise more than this, it's like, oh, you know what, it might, su some design decisions might push you the wrong way, that's all I can say. Otherwise, it's a great game. Otherwise, I had fun playing it for the whole month. And, uh, yeah. If you can get it, get it. If you, you know, if you want it, get it for cheap. Uh, uh, yeah. But, play it. <laughs> That's all I can say. So, thanks for listening to my final thoughts on Need for Speed Most Wanted. I'm still deciding on what game to do next. So, Maybe if you do watch this video, you know, if anyone uh, watches this video, you know, please comment and just say, you know what, I want to hear about uh, what are your thoughts about this game or the next game or the game that you're playing right now. Right now, I'm thinking about playing Fez. Uh, Fez, yeah. And I uh, think I'm still torn between Remember Me and uh, Asura's Wrath. Because I'm looking for something short, because my exams are coming up, so I'm looking for something short. So, something like Asura's Wrath, Asura's Wrath, uh, Fares, Remember Me, or things like that. That, that. That's on my list to play. And uh, hopefully, you know, I get a chance to stream it. And if you do watch, you know, follow me on stream on Twitch. I'll put the link. On the sh on the description, follow me on Twitter as well. You know, if I ever stream, and I, you know, I I'm not I don't have a set time where I stream. So, you know, follow me on Twitch or on Twitter so that at least you know when I stream, which will make me so much more better than. Yeah, I don't. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.